Switzerland's Swiss president, Viola M. Hutt, said Monday, during a visit by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to Bern, that her country has offered to organize a peace summit that aims to help bring an end to Ukraine's ongoing war with Russia. I confirmed to him that Switzerland is ready to organize a conference, M. Hurt said, during a joint press conference with Zelensky. We have agreed that we will examine the details of the next steps in depth to ensure that the peace process is a success. The two presidents said the Ukrainian and Swiss teams will begin preparations for the Global Peace Summit in Switzerland as early as Tuesday. No details were provided about when or how such a summit could take place. And Russia hasn't been involved in the process. This summit is intended to infuse the necessary energy into everything that has already been achieved and to determine that the end of the war must be fair. And the restoration of the strength of international law, complete, Zelensky said. Talks of a peace summit come as Ukrainian military chiefs said Monday their forces had shot down a Russian early warning and control plane and a key command center aircraft which if confirmed would be a feat for Ukraine in the almost two-year war. On Sunday, Zelensky's chief of staff, Andriy Yermak, took part in Swiss-hosted talks in Davos among dozens of national envoys about Zelensky's 10-point peace formula, which ultimately aims to feed into the possible peace summit. As for who might attend, Zelensky said Ukraine was open to all countries in the world that respect its sovereignty and territorial integrity so draw conclusions about whom we invite. He conveyed Ukraine's strong desire for countries from the global south to be present. It is important for us to show that the whole world is against the aggression of Russia and the whole world is for a fair peace. Zelensky said. If countries truly want the war to end, they will support our plan, but added it was an open plan that would welcome proposals from other countries. Switzerland, which has long touted its neutrality, has been at pains to strike the right balance over Russian President Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine that began in February 2022. The Swiss have lined up with European Union sanctions on Russian people and interests over the conflict. Zelensky's trip to Switzerland, where he also met with parliamentary leaders on Monday, includes a visit Tuesday to the World Economic Forum's annual meeting in the eastern town of Davos. The meeting in Bern came hours after M. Heard hosted Chinese Prime Minister Li Chang, who is also on his way to the elite gathering in Davos. It was not immediately clear whether he would meet Zelensky there. Zelensky noted China's significant role in the world and said Kiev would very much like China to be involved in our peace formula and engaged in the peace summit. However, he added, not everything depends on our will. We hope that all civilized countries will be involved in the peace summit.